Residents of Phelps have been dealing with a growing wild horse population for over 10 years. Despite reaching out to various government officials and other outside resources, the population continues to grow, causing damages to yards, vehicles, and other property. There's a lot of horses that's been abandoned back on the strip job behind my house, and uh, they come to the road. There's been several accidents, uh, been many vehicles damaged or even totaled. There's a young lady here that her elderly parents was hit one a few nights ago and probably totaled their vehicle. And it happened so fast, the, her dad that was driving, he didn't know if it was even real because, I mean, the horse came out of nowhere, was on top of the hood and went completely over top of the car. Government officials are aware of the issue, but due to the horses being on private property, it makes the removal process difficult. You know, a lot of people think we can just go up there, go on people's property, like our judge executive, Ray Jones, he cannot give permission to somebody to go on private property. It's against law and he knows that. That's why he's trying to help people out there to try to understand, you know, like us. Now, if we get permission from a, a private, uh, private landowner to let us set corrals, to catch the horses, it's all good. Residents have made attempts to get the horses removed, but many have no way of keeping them on their property while waiting for animal control. Yes, my husband be able to corral to try to hold them until we could finally get somebody to come and pick them up. Uh, the animal shelter has come once, and I think they took five. Uh, but, you know, they, we can't just call them and say, hey, they're here, come and get them, because they come in all hours of the night. We have security cameras, and they're continuously setting them off at night. At Pikeville Medical Center, we believe that together we can make a difference in the fight against cancer. We are proud to have patients who have experienced successful outcomes over many years. As always, we believe in the power of faith. Pikeville Medical Center, where cancer can be defeated. Belcher has attempted to collect donations to feed the horses to keep them on the strip mine. When I put the post out on Facebook Live, I said if anybody would want to donate any horse food or if anybody would do donate salt blocks or anything that could just be taken back there and dropped off. But, uh, you know, nobody responded. I was told by the animal uh, shelter that I could go back and feed them and keep them salt, but you know, I can't afford to feed a hundred horses, especially the ones I, I don't own these horses. County officials are attempting to find property owners to set up corrals to capture the horses for their removal. The commissioners and judge executive, you know, they're, they're working hard too to try to find out what's going on over there, who owns what, see what private landowners that we can get to uh, let us set horse uh, corrals up to catch these wild horses. Uh, but all the help is in the community to find out who owns the land, who owns the lease, who's got it leased, who owns the horses. All we want to do is help the people out there at Phelps or anywhere else, like, you know, it's, it's a problem statewide. The Pike County Animal Shelter is asking if anyone has information on the owners of the horses or the landowners to call them at 606-432-6293. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.